Hey there, YouTubers. Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Um, I'm gonna. I'm trying to help a, a gentleman who uh, who emailed me, uh, left me a message that said uh, he needs some help getting started with uh, with his shift notes entry. So I'm just going to kind of archive me going through and helping him. So um, from the notes in the email that I have received, he's got um, he's got a text box that is there um, but he'd like a larger text box that needs to be hidden to uh, appear or the, the hidden text box will open with the button at the end marked open so I guess that's right here there's notes right here and when you click open uh, another thing is going to open up uh, I'm not I'm not understanding why um, it'll open up if it's going to be hidden, but I guess there, it's like a place marker. Maybe you can put something in there. Um, so I've reread this a, a couple times, but I'm probably just it's just early and I'm just missing it or something. Let's see. On the one line where it says whole module down, that was right there, text box with the word notes above it. Let's see. So whole module down, here's the text box with the word notes right above it. So there's the text box. Okay. So and then he would like. Let's see. Whoops. Um, lost my spot here. Text box with the words notes above it. This is a one-line message, of a larger box, that would, that would need to be hidden. That hidden text box opens with the button, at the end marked open. So when you click this button, something else, will open up. And uh, I'll show you how to do that, I guess. I'm not certain uh, what you're going to do with that, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and go to that area. So I'll scroll down here, and here's the notes section for the whole, down, uh, whole module down. So right here, uh, when we click open, we want another text box to open up, and I think ultimately to become hidden at a later time, perhaps. So let's go ahead and go into design mode, and we'll insert... Um, so we could just copy this one, I guess. Let's hit Control C and Control V to paste. So here's the hidden one. We'll just put it here for now. I'm not sure what to do with it. It's called Textbox 21. As you can see, we could rename that. So in fact, I will. I'm going to rename it TB Hidden. Um, so what we need to do? Let's go ahead and record a macro. Take it. Uh, I'll keep it in Design Mode. Record a macro. Um, hide hidden text box. Okay, what we're going to record is this. Right click, go to properties. We're going to make it hidden. And then we'll make it unhidden. We'll study the code really quick. That's the quickest way to do it. Um, so we need to go to down to visible. Visible currently is true. Let's make it false. So we recorded that action. Now let's make it back to true. Now the reason we can still see it is because whenever you take design mode off, you can see what's hidden, what's not hidden. So let's put it back to false. I'll just show you. When visible is set to false, you take it off design mode, you can only see what people are supposed to see. When you go back into design mode, obviously you might need to edit stuff. So it makes it visible again. So right now, nothing happens. So let's um, stop recording and let's take a look at our code, Alt F11 and let's see the new module that was created here so uh, our code was called hide hidden box we saw that hidden t box active sheet dot shapes dot range array tb hidden dot select um, okay well they're not giving us a lot of clues here I apologize so what we need to do and uh, that's fine and dandy uh, to use a to use that code here you could even do this workbook dot sheets um, shift notes is the name of the sheet dot range or dot shape dot range dot array name of the range dot visible equals false that's a mouthful right um, what I prefer to do is go to sheet one I'm gonna take this all and just cut and paste control X cut control uh, V to paste into the sheet one why did I why do I want to do things in sheet one or in the sheet called shift notes well there's a 
good reason for that. Whenever I type the word M E and hit a int, uh, hit a period, um, I'm actually able to access any object that is within sheet the sheet um, called shift notes. So if I'm affecting something on the current sheet, I might as well do me dot tb hidden. That's the name of the text box that we're affecting, right? We named it that. Me dot tb hidden dot visible tab equals false or equals true. That's it. You don't have to select. You don't have to do anything. There's your there's your code right there. So, but we that's how you want to hide the hidden T box, and we also want to make a code called um, unhide that or whatever. So let's see. So this sub will be called unhide hidden T box, and we simply make this to true. The visible equals true whenever we do that. That way we can re reference this code by using the name hide hidden tbox, unhide hidden tbox. So let's do that now. Let's go to our button, go back to design mode, and click on the open button right here. It's called command button 5. Double click on it, and we'll immediately go to that code. The click event that we want to use is um, we want to run the we want to call the procedure that's called hide hidden tbox. I know we want to call unhide hid, hidden tbox <clears throat> to unhide it to reveal it. Also, we want me dot tb hidden dot activate. That means we want to select the new, the newly unhidden uh, text box. Let's try what we've got so far, shall we? We shall. Okay. So currently we're out of design mode, so it's invisible again. Can't see it really. I'm going to click this nice button. And do you see what happened? It opened, or it uh, dot visible equals true, so now it's it's visible. And it also select or activated that text box by clicking right there for me, basically. <coughs> so that was cool. Another thing we can do is we can have this be equal to whatever's in this, or we can have this, uh, this be equal to whatever's in that. So let's do that. Let's erase this. Um, also, we want to probably make this go back invisible. I think you said you want it to be invisible. So let's uh, work on that. Double click on this. So not whenever it changes, but whenever TB hidden, <coughs> I guess, um, how about whenever TB hidden is loses focus, whenever you click away, lost focus, huh? Whenever TB hidden lost focus, then we will run the code that's called uh, hide the hidden T box. So let's take it out of design mode again. Now I select it, and whenever I select away from it, it goes away. Did you see that? So open. It is selected by default, so that whenever it is deselected, it goes away. Did you see that? Click here, goes away. Click here, it stays. Click away, goes away. Pretty cool, right? <clears throat> the last thing that you may want to do might be fun is on the open event. How about we'll make this one or this one equal to this one? So if this is one two three four, this will say one two three four. This is snot buckets. This will say snot buckets whenever it is opened, whenever it is opened again and becomes visible. So let's do that. Um, what's this one called? Text box six. Fair enough. So uh, we will activate it. How about we activate it? right after we do that change. So me.tb hidden is going to equal whatever the value in um, me.textbox6. Let's scroll down to number 6. There it is. So me.tb hidden equals me.textbox6. Let's try that now. Okay, we're out of design mode. Click open. There it is. One, two, three, four. Now, if I deselect it, I'll do that same thing again. Let's let's put uh, la la la. Aha! You see that? And you could do the reverse. You could have me dot text box six equal whatever in the world we put in this whenever this is deselected, and it'll go invisible. So let's try it that way, just for fun, just for fun. It's all in good fun, right? So let's um, let's. Uh, we can leave that in place, but let's do this. Whenever, um, right after we hide it, it'll still have the value in it. So it'll still, so me dot tb 
Uh, me dot oh goodness me dot text box six equals me dot tv hidden shazam so it'll go it'll look really cool uh, it'll go invisible well I want to edit my notes so blah 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 and whenever I deselect it I'm gonna click away now then this takes on the value of whatever I just shoved in the notes click away it goes invisible and it takes on the new value so you can play around with that hopefully that answers some of your question and maybe you can do something different that maybe you wanted to do maybe I'm, I'm sure I misunderstood you but <clears throat> Hopefully you can take that and roll with it. So that's the first step, I think. And uh, the next step was that you also would like a save button. And whenever you click save, um, you'd want it to force a save path. So you have a particular file name or path from the two the two drop down selections, like the T right here and the 2013-46 BC right here at the top of the page. So the T and the numbers to the right called the code date. So um, you want it to to, to, so I'm gonna I'm gonna very 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 briefly show you. Uh, what is it? Are these linked cells? They they might be. Let's change this. Oh good, these are linked. So that's, that makes it even easier. Let's just go ahead and throw together something here. Equals. Um, if you have a particular file path that you're fond of, perhaps C slash. Um, let's just do. I don't know what's in my C directory. How about we'll just do C and this and this. Hmm, num 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 num. And the text dot x l s m or or x depending if you want it macro enabled or not. So if I hit enter, this will just take put it on the C drive. It'll save a copy of the file right there. And we're going to name this cell Save Location. Save Loc. Okay. So whenever we reference the the range called Save Loc, it'll reference this. And this will always be based on whatever in the world's going on with these changes. So PB, blah, 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 or C, or I mean T. But if you have a different file location, then instead of C, then put it C user settings whatever blah 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 so however you want to play that I'm just gonna do this you can do it all in VBA and you don't have to even put it in the cell just saving time here okay so let's say you click this save button okay so I'll double click on it in design mode so we can edit this command button one which is a save button so we're gonna do file uh, no let's see let's see um, this workbooks pardon me dot save as okay this work work dot save as hit a space bar and it'll tell you all these different nifty little things you can do separate them by commas so file name is the first one that they are wondering if we have any preference on so let's say file name colon equals so file name equals um, let's do the full range this workbook dot sheets you don't have to do all this necessarily but I'm gonna do it all shift notes because that way there's no errors sheets shift notes dot range and the range we have named it file loc is that right we'll see um, comma what's the next thing we want to affect do we want to do a file format blah 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 um, there's some other stuff we might want to do but right now I think that's fine just save as and do the file name as that stuff um, and you can also do this workbook dot close save changes equals or colon equals false so that it just doesn't ask you any questions it just regardless it so let's let's put a stop marker right there I'm gonna save this to my C drive just so I can show you I'm gonna hit the save button Actually, hold on a second. I'm going to cancel that. Let me save our progress thus far. Let me go ahead and really save on this version. Then I'm going to go to save. It's got a stop marker right there, so it's waiting on me. We want to do this work with that save as. File name equals. Uh, let's, if it gives an error, then I know I typed it wrong. Okay. So what do we name this cell? Save loc, not file loc. 
my apologies. You're all sitting there rolling your eyes because you've been paying attention to what I've been doing. So I'll click the button. Now, it's going to save it, this workbook, to this location with that name. So I'm going to hit F8. Let's see, this extension cannot be used with the selected file tape. Change a file extension. Okay, there's a way to resolve that. I'm not going to go over it right now. What we're going to do, I will just change this to uh, XLSM. It's a macro enabled versus not a macro enabled workbook, and they're throwing a hissy fit about that because the current file has macros and blah, 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 blah. Hit F8. Now, what do you want? Okay. Maybe C drive wasn't the best place. There's probably some permissions crap going on. So let's save it to C and we'll make a folder called Mercy. Hello. Fine, we'll try that. Okay, that worked. Alright, now let's look at the new folder I just made called Hello, which is on the C drive. And you see there's a workbook in there, and it's called T201346db.xlsm, which looks identical to this right here. Pretty cool, right? Hey, um, now, uh, so this is from Mr. Philip. Philip, I hope that I helped you. Um, so, uh, yeah. If you have any follow-up questions, please leave a comment in this uh, uh, video and uh, click like if you liked it, and uh, be sure to subscribe if any if this helped anybody. Thanks, guys. God bless.